it's Amanda from ScrimpyMummy.co.uk I've got another project as part of my hashtag 100 things and I'm still on with Halloween I just think it's cute and just loving this set so what I've made here is I've made um, an altered peg so this is a, a gift set perhaps for if you're into uh, planners or journals or any kind of stationery or you can just or you can add them to cards and gift bags, boxes, lots and lots of reasons. It's a handmade embellishment. Okay, you can even package them up nicely and sell them. Um, do what you want. Swap them, gift them, just make them for fun. So this is a paper clip, not a paper clip, it's a peg. Uh -uh. Yeah, okay. So it's a double sided one, it's still drying. Um, and this is a witch's hat, and I have glittered it. I don't know if you can see the glitter. Glittered it. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make one of those. And then I've made these little, really simple, ghosty ones. Love them. So I'll show you how to make those. So we're going to start with the witch's hat first. Now, I have done it both front and back so that means reverse stamping that's the only technical bit and if you're not sure you don't feel you can do it just put one just on the front and don't bother with the back okay so I'm gonna to have to zoom out a right little bit okay so I've got my block here I need some um, memento and I'm going to put the which is hat on my block. Don't matter if it's straight or not because I'm going to cut it out anyway. Okay. And you need to ink that up nicely. Plenty on. Then stamp it. Okay. So that's one. Then to do the second one, I've got just a sheet of plastic here. You can use anything. You can use plastic sheet off of, um, you know, recycle an, an envelope that comes through the door. Use the plastic off of that. This is a, a acetate, but it's not window sheet. It's I don't know where I've got it from, to be honest. So I'm inking that again. And it does work with Memento because it's not a permanent ink. It's just... You stamp on the acetate, okay, and then you quickly bring your acetate over to your cardstock, place it down gently, trying not to slip, and then gently press that without pressing on too hard, or you will smudge it onto your cardstock and then carefully lift and you're going to get a reverse image. Now it might not be, you know, 100% as clear as that one, but you can always touch it up if needs be with a Stampin' Right marker to, um, you know, where it, it's not going to be perfect because it's, um, it's not from the actual stamp. So I just can just tidy that image up with my Stampin' Right marker. Okay, but we're going to colour it anyway so it really does not matter. Um, so there we've got a front and a back. Okay, let's move that out of the way a minute. While we're here, I will stamp a ghost day. Uh, <laughs> I do uh, sometimes talk in um, kiddie terms, ghost day, train, dogger, you will notice, sorry, it's, it's the <laughs> one of the things when you've been a mum, I've been a mum since I was quite young, <laughs> very young, too young, and um, so I've been bringing children up for uh, best part of 28 years I think in total so I do say you know ghosty dogger pussycat <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's just how it is so I'm going to stamp my ghosty there he's cute isn't it look look how cute he is um, and then I'll show you how to do the sentiment in a minute so we're going to deal with these first so ghosty gets punched out with a one and one eighth of an inch scallop circle punch so we'll punch him out first okay and then he needs a background so we then punch out a uh, one and three eighths of an inch 
scallop circle and this is Highland Heather. It's just a slightly lighter shade to the gorgeous grape. If I show you on the DSP, we've got the slightly darker one there. That is gorgeous grape. So I'm just going to grab a sponge dauber and I'm bringing in Highland Heather here. Um, with my sponge dab, I'm going to ink on and then I'm just going to dab there because I don't want it to be really dark. Let me zoom out a bit now while I'm while I'm diddling. And I'm just going to very gently ink over the edge of that. I mean, you don't have to, but I just think tiny little details um, just make your projects that little bit nicer. Let me just move that over there. Okay. And then we're going to put him on a, I need to get some uh, more large dimensionals. I think I'm running out. Oh, they've all got stuck on there. I've managed that. Don't know how I've managed that, but I can still use them. Um, so I'm putting large dimensional on the back of there. Layer it up on the coloured circle, I want it straight, that's not straight, there we go, so that's that one, and then I'm going to bring in, this is a, what size is this paper clip, uh, about one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, something like that, Let's move that there in a minute, so all you do is, that piece there is the bit that's going to go, you know, on your paper kind of thing. Let me just show you. Yeah, so you're going to slot that on your paper. So you want your dimensional at the top there. So have a look where your ghost is bottom is. Uh, and just rough, it's just a rough guide. Okay. And then you want a dimensional in there. Just shove it in. Doesn't matter if it's on the paper clip a bit. Just shove it in okay and then to hold all that in place you want another little circle and I'm using a half inch stick that on there like so and that will hold your paper clip on there okay and then we're just going to finish it off with a bit of fancy ribbon so we're using the this one which is sparkly glittered Organda ribbon. Not quite sure what that means, but there you go. And I'm just tying it in a knot because if it was to do a bow, a proper bow, it would be too big for this small project. So I'm doing, I'm imitating a bow by tying a knot and then just trimming to a slant at one side and then the opposite slant at the other side. Okay, so we've got a, a tiny little faux bow. You could even make a load of those and you could pretend the bats and stick them all over your card. That's an idea. Little bats, there you go. Um, right, so I'm going to use glue dots, which are here. Another glue dot. Add it on the back of my bow stroke bat. Not on my thumb. Get off. Okay. My fingers are filthy because I've been crafting all day. I do apologise. And I've cut all my nails down as well because they were starting to annoy me. <laughs> I can deal with them for so many months. Um, through the summer when I'm going on my holidays and stuff. And then in the winter I cut them all off. I can't be doing with it. So I'll probably have a break um, for a bit. So that's that one. So we've got a set of three of those now. Okay. How cute are those? Let me zoom in. Um, set of three of those. Okay, put that to one side and we will uh, make one of these peg ones now. Let me zoom out, out a little bit. So for that, I bought, I always have these in my stash, as it were. And these are pegs from the UK Pound Shop. And probably everybody's got them. I buy them and then they're only decorated on one side and it's like sticker. They, they, 
that just peel it off okay just peel it off but they're nice because they're chunky okay so they're a nice size so just peel all that off Let's shove that in there because I've already done mine and if you've got a sharpie or a permanent marker you can then colour it now my sharpie's dried out so I've coloured mine with my um my black stamping right marker I don't have a black um of the others the blends don't know if there is a black one if there is I need to get one um, now the only thing with that is because it's water based with the sweat from your fingers you can see it's going to come off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss it I'm just going to emboss the front and the back with black embossing powder so that it seals that and it won't come off I mean in honesty you could probably it doesn't matter it's just one of them things that I know it's there so I want to do it you could get away with not bothering but you know I like messing about anyway so it's all good so I'm dipping it in and, and obviously you know you could emboss these gold you could emboss some bronze do what you want paint them white leave them wooden put paper on them wash your tape on them you name it you can do it so this is black embossing powder I'm going to be having a play with this um, with some other stuff as well with some stamping this is new to me this I've not had the black embossing powder before so knock that off there okay and then I'm going to turn my heat gun on and I'm going to heat set that talk amongst yourselves <laughs> I won't be a minute <laughs> and that just adds a nice black glossy finish to that and I think it's lovely you might want to hold it with tweezers or something um, I never know where my tweezers are because my family come in here and steal them okay turn it over and do the other side So that is a, a process you can do if you like to have really, you know, well finished crafts. Otherwise, you, you could miss it. It's not essential if you don't have the tools, it doesn't matter. But a permanent, if you don't do that, you do need to use permanent ink. Right, so um, back to our witchy hats. So I'm going to colour them. I'm using the Stampin' Right markers. I'm using dark pumpkin pie and I'm using both shades of Daff Daffodil Delight so I'm going to colour them very basically because you know the pegs it, it, it doesn't need to be one thing I will say with your stamping blends is to bear in mind that depending on what cardstock you use and what ink you use um, it will determine whether or not that pen will leak outside that image. Now, Memento is very good. Um, it shouldn't shouldn't leak outside so long as you keep it within the lines. And if you've got a very fine line, try and keep your colour within it. I know it sounds silly, but they can spread out a little bit depending on the, the cardstock. And this is just basic Whisper White. It's not any kind of fancy. You can get like fancy colouring paper can't you for um, colouring with alcohol markers and um, I think it can sometimes make a difference but for me I, I, you know I'm colouring a witch's hat it really doesn't matter <laughs> you know I'm not going for any awards for colouring here I'm just having fun um, and as I say there's lots of uses for these it's a handmade embellishment. You could add it to a bag or a tag or a card. You could just gift a set of them. Um, you can add them to your stationery, to your planners, your journals, your TNs. Whatever takes your fancy. Um, I think these will get pinched by Alexia once she sees them. She'll love them and she will nab them. Um, because she does love we are both quite um, 
geeks when it comes to stationery. We can't walk past a stationery shop without going in and having a look at even just normal biro pens. We just can't do it. <laughs> right. So, and these are beautiful to colour with. I did originally, when they first came out, I bought the full set of them. And they're beautiful. Um, now, there are the new colours that you can get to, from when they did the colour refresh. And I'm buying mine a bit at a time. Every couple of orders or so, I'll add a set on, you know, like a double pack, the light and the dark. I've just recently got Granny Apple Green and Lovely Lipstick. And I will just do it like that. And then you don't feel the cost as much. But I do like to have the full set. I'm a collector. I am a, I am a crafty collector, and I do like to have think that I've got the full sets of stuff. So now I'm just going to go in with really light daffodil delight and do those stars. Although I will also be glittering them, so I don't know if that's really necessary. But I don't want, I don't want white on there. And then I'm just going to do that band. And that black ink doesn't go on the tips of there. Right, so now for the hat. So I'm going to start with the light. And I'm just going to very gently cover that all over. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with the dark and just add a very basic shading. Um, just very basic. Okay, just to make it look like it's got a bit of shape to it, get my blend pen, this is the blender, and then just gently do that in the middle and it will just make those colours blend together. Right, so we're done with that. So what we need to do now is quickly put those out. And I'm going to do just the one for the sake of the film. You basically just duplicate it, one for the front and one for the back. But if I do both, um, it makes it a lengthy video. And, uh, you know, who's got time for that? <laughs> okay. Um, and then you can package them up, put them in a cello bag with a topper. I've shown you lots of times how to do nice packaging. I'm not going to do that on this particular video but what I might do is I might do some more pegs. I might do some Christmassy ones for a Christmas fair and, and do some funky packaging for that. So I've done that. I've cut that out and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to make that stronger. You could um, put clear embossing powder all over the top of that which would, you know, give a clear gloss and then that would never shift. However, I want to glitter mine, so I'm not doing that. So what you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on some black card. Okay. Stick it on some black card. Just give that one second to dry. And then I'll do my sentiment while that's drying. So this one you cut out and you layer on black card the same. Let me zoom out ever so slightly. So for my sentiment, where's my stamp set gone? Here it is. So I'm going to use this bubble bubble toil and trouble, but I only want the toil and trouble. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's borrow this block and take ghost here. Okay, put that on straight. So what we're going to do, I'll do it on that side. I've got embossing powder over everything now. And my hands are full of ink. I'll do it here and cut it out very carefully. So we get our stamping right marker and we use the brush tip. And you just colour over the words that you want to use. I mean you could just have toil on its own if you wanted. Okay, I'm very careful, and then ignore the bubble, <gasps> huff on it, <gasps> like that, <laughs> and then stamp. 
Okay, and it just does just that wording. So let's see if I can trim that out fairly straight. Now on this one, I did use a die, um, and it's from the um, the new one, Stitch Something. I can't remember, but I was just trying it out. It's easier to just cut it by hand. It's only a little peg. You don't need to make a massive fuss. that's that cut out about as straight as a nine bob knot let's straighten it up that's better and we're going to layer that up on the black cardstock as well okay i'll put it there with a very 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 tiny border very tiny barely there it's just really to strengthen it Okay, then we're going to cut them out. So that's my centre. And then cut our hat. Now I struggle when I'm cutting black cardstock. Um, so bear with me, I'll just do it the best that I can. For some reason I go all kind of like... Almost like, I don't know, colour blind or something stupid when I'm cutting black cardstock. It's like I can't see what I'm doing. So just bear with me. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect anyway, does it? Nobody cares. <laughs> Let me just straighten that up. That really is a bit rubbish. Just straighten that up. You know, just go back in and straighten it up. If it's not right, doesn't matter. There we go. That's better. Around that corner. I don't know why I struggle to cut um, fussy cut in black. It must just dazzle me. Okay. Just don't look right close at that one. <laughs> I spent a bit longer on that one last night because I wasn't doing it sort of on, you know, on camera as it were. Right, so what I've done then is I've got my fine tip glue pen. Okay, and I've got some dazzling diamonds glitter, which is absolutely beautiful stuff. Um, it's stunning. And let's zoom in a little bit again now. The light looks very bright. I can't seem to control it um, because I've got the big window in front of my desk. So when the light changes outside uh, and as the sun goes in and out, invariably the lighting can change on my video, which is why my lighting is quite inconsistent. I don't use fancy um, equipment to film. Uh, I just have my camera and my window and that's it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get off. It's stuck on there. Add some glitter on there. And then oop, drop it and chuck it everywhere. No, you're not meant to do that. Just knock it. And I always have a little paintbrush to hand and then if any glitter goes on any part where I don't want it I can just brush it off okay so let's just move that out of the way for now I'll deal with that later so now we've got our peg here what we want to do is we want to add some really strong adhesive I'm using red line tape you could use um, your fine tip glue pen, but you would have to wait for it to dry. Um, I don't want to wait. And you would add it front and back, but we're only doing the front for the video to try and speed things up a bit. And I'm adding, oops, my tape's come up. Oh. You slippery little sucker. 
my tape's lifted and folded over itself, which is very useful. Thank you. Pull it back down with the... There we go. So first of all, I'm going to get my sentiment and I'm going to stick that along the bottom. Centralise it and add my hat. Overlayer it slightly. Give that a press. There we go. So that's that one. And obviously I'm going to have to add another bow ribbon. I've got some glitter there where I don't want it. One moment. Get off. Don't want you there. So I'll add another one of my little fake bows. So that will be cute, won't it? Uh, I don't think I could be in a noisier environment. Washing machine's going like Joe 90. The dogs are barking. The postman's just been and dropped goodness knows what through the letterbox. Honestly, I need I need to go live up a mountain where it's quiet. How rude when I'm filming. Right. So I'm going to just add my glue dot to the back of there now. And as I say, you could take this as a bow, you could say it's a bat. Either way, I'm just going to stick it on there like that. And there we go. There's our little peg. <laughs> and there's the other one. And our little ghosties. Give them a try. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.